Hey Morphe babes, it's Nicole Faulkner, AKA Lipstick Nick, Morphe's Director of Global Artistry. And today I'm so excited to show you guys my favorite ways to use all of the new products in Morphe 2. So if you guys wanna see how I created this easy, effortless makeup look using all of these multi-purpose products, keep watching. All right guys, I'm gonna get started into the Hint Hint Skin Tint Foundation. So my shade that I'm gonna use today, I'm a little bit tanner than usual, so I'm gonna use Hint of Toast, which, such a cute name. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shake this up first, as you do with any water-based foundation. And I'm gonna take this really easy dropper applicator, and I'm gonna just drop a few drops onto the high points of my face. So one here, one here, center, doot, doot. So I like to start with just a little bit of product and then I can always add more wherever I want it. But remember the whole point of Morphe 2 is really about creating that like effortless, sheer, glowy, just almost look like you are not wearing any makeup. It's just like the best version of you. I personally like to use a brush always, my tool of choice, but it is extremely easy to use regardless. So if you are somebody that likes to apply with your fingers, you are going to love this product. All right guys, next up, I'm gonna be using the Cheek and Lip Mousse. These are amazing multi-purpose products, so I'm gonna go ahead and give my cheeks a nice tint of color, and I'm gonna carry that same color into my lips. The color I'm gonna use today is called FYP. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my pointer finger, and I just smile and I'll start to distribute the product right on the front of my apple. This product is so lightweight, it's literally, a, a mousse is the perfect name for it because it's extremely airy and light and it just melts right in with your foundation. It's actually really hard to overdo it with this too because it does melt in. It's like almost impossible to apply too much, which is so great if you're someone that's maybe wanting to start getting into blush, but you just don't want it to look too overpowering or if blush kind of scares you, or if you just really want that like nice natural wash of color. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this product and I'm going to apply it onto my lips just to tie in that really nice cohesive same wash of color. So I'm gonna take this on uh, just dry lips. I don't have anything on my lips right now. And it's really all about this like effortless, kind of not perfectly lined lip. So I do wanna just kind of go with the flow of my natural lip shape and not force a shape, just kind of run with the shape that I already have. If you are someone that likes to use lip liner, you can totally do that first and then kind of pop this in the center and blend it out. But today I'm just gonna rock my natural lip shape and just bring that color all throughout. All right guys, so now that I have my hint, my tint down, I'm gonna keep going with that tint and bring some cool color onto my eyes using a brand new Jelly Eye Shimmer. These were like one of my favorite products. If you guys haven't already seen the amazing campaign artistry images with Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, so exciting. I was so honored to be able to work with them and do their makeup for this. They're actually my inspiration for this next look that I'm gonna do on myself. There's a color called Sunshine that I actually used on Charlie D'Amelio for the campaign. We'll throw that picture up right here. But it was so beautiful on her. It has this like sherbetty orange kind of vibe with a little bit of pink speckle. I just loved it so much. I fell in love with the color instantly and I knew I had to put it on her. She's also just like a little ray of sunshine. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of sunshine and then I'm gonna show you guys how these are so easy to layer. If you wanna wear this like daytime, you can throw this on at night after, just throw it in your bag. Very, very easy because they do dry down really quickly and there's absolutely no fallout. So I'm gonna take this sunshine color. I like to use my fingers for these because I really like to feel the color kind of melt onto my lid. So I'm gonna take my finger and just go into the jelly shimmer and I'm gonna go directly onto my eyelid. They're so beautiful. Like you can really see all the reflect and the sparkle. Oh. I love this color so much. It actually reminds me of like one of my first eyeshadows I ever had as a kid. So it's like kind of nostalgic for me. And I am gonna take this down into this corner part of the outer part of my eye because I really like how that looks. I think it just looks like very whimsical, fantasy-like, really fun. And I'm gonna take a little bit into this inner corner of my eye as well. So I kind of want to play a little bit and add a little bit of the confetti color on top. There is a really cool purple glitter in here that's almost giving it this like UV sort of like iridescent kind of galactic vibe. So I'm just gonna press that in the center. This was actually one of my favorite things to do on set was to mix colors and create your own custom color. 
This is kind of reminding me, just the purple fleck in here is sort of reminding me of the look that I did on Dixie for this campaign, which was very vibrant purple with a blue speckle in it. So it was really fun and she was really excited to kind of play with color and really rock that shade for the campaign. All right, so I'm almost done with my makeup. I'm really excited to add this next product because it's one that I, as an artist, absolutely love and I'm excited to have in my kit. You guys have probably seen different looks where there's like glass skin or it's like that really dewy kind of editorial finish to the complexion. And this is the product to help you do it. It's called a Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss. I also love that it's not sticky because my hair doesn't stick to it but it really helps to just give that nice like youthful glow. And you can totally wear this without makeup too, even if you don't have any other product on, you just kind of want to add in that freshness. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit on top of my jelly eye shimmers just to enhance that shine that the sparkle already gives. And again, because they're non-sticky, it's great for the eye because it's not gonna make your eyelids stick together when you open and close. So now I'm gonna go on and bring in more of that glow. We already got the glow with the gloss pop, but I'm gonna bring in this glassified lip oil, and this is in the shade Extra Glaze. And I like this one especially because I feel like it really goes with this coral color that I kind of already have on. And oh my gosh, it literally makes your lips look like glass. These have moringa, jojoba, and coconut oil. So it's basically like all of the aspects you would love about a chapstick or some sort of like lip balm, but giving you that gloss shine at the same time. This is definitely a different style of makeup for me personally, and I'm just loving how like effortless and easy it's been. It's cut my makeup time in like a third, so. I'm really feeling it. I want to add a little bit of mascara just so I'm fully ready for the day and then I'll show you guys the final look in just a second. All right guys, this is my final look. I hope you are just as excited as I am to get your hands on this new Morphe 2 product. Make sure you guys hashtag Morphe 2 for your looks to be featured on our page and until next time, bye.